Hello guys, welcome to online web tutorial presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WP Query Beginner Tutorial and this is our part 5. In this video session guys, we will discuss about that how can we use our search parameter to WP Query. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WP Query Beginner Tutorial. So before starting this video session guys, let's understand about the concept of search parameter in WordPress. So just back to browser. Now this is our front page. And now if I go to our post section, basically in our post section we have sample tag 3, 2, 1 and something like all these posts we have created in our previous video sessions. And also if you go to the pages section, this is called OWT post which is in draft and rest all these pages are in publish status. So if we want to suppose search any of the posts from the front page, so how can we search that? So just scroll down. Now as we can see that here we have a search form. So if I type suppose sample, just press enter. Now as we can see that in our query string, if I just copy this URL, go to editor, now if I paste this URL here then as we can see that as term is attached with our query string. As parameter contains the search term value. Basically by comparing this value actually WordPress filters all the results on the behalf of parameter S. So if I scroll down as we can see that we have written sample as a search term and now all the post has been filtered by the name of sample either it will be in title or in description section. It means that if you write any content inside search term then it will match actually by using this title or by using our post content. So if I suppose change this search term let's sample instead let's say post. So if I click enter now as we have actually filtered post as you can see that admin 3, sample post 2, sample post 1 means all the posts which basically contains the keyword called post either in post title or post content will be appeared in our dashboard. So basically guys this is the thing actually, actually we want to implement with our WP query means in our previous video sessions guys if you back to editor now this is a standard WP query loop we have written. So inside our previous video sessions we have seen about how can we use our author parameters, how can we use our tags, how can we use our categories, all these sections we have seen in great detail. So inside this video session guys we are going to use our search parameter inside this condition so that by using that search condition we can actually filter all the posts inside this loop. So just back to administrator panel. Let's open our first our custom template page. So if I click on page section, I think that OWT post this is the page that we have developed. So if I click on view, let's open up in new tab. So this is the page basically contains all the posts according to our condition. Okay. So we are going to include our search term parameter inside our conditional array and something we are going to search about this post section. So just back to editor. So we are going to attach our search parameter condition. So just I am putting comma here and let's say that search term basically parameter as represents. Okay. And as basically contains the search value. So let's say that we are going to find our sample as a keyword. So basically this sample keyword matches with our post title or post content. It does not matches with any pages section here because we have passed post type equal to post. Means it will give all the result shape of basically all the post of our WordPress setup. So if I save this file, go to browser now reload our custom template. As we can see that all the post which contains the keyword called sample is now filtered to our custom template page. Okay, these are all basically these all are post because we have passed in our condition something called post type equal to post. If I suppose change post type equal to page or anything else then it actually filters all the result set according to these conditions. So if I move to our administrator panel, now go just go to post sections, as we can see that here sample tag 3, sample tag 2, sample tag 1 and so on all these posts we have created. Okay. So if suppose we want to search something called development, so just back to editor and let's say that development. So if I save this file, 
go to custom template and reload this page so all the posts basically filtered by using call development keyword so we have called wordpress plugin development or let's say wordpress theme development and also if i just back to cake php and if i write anything inside this content if i just suppose change let's say that this is another development and let's save this file click on update so successfully we have integrated or embedded or added something development keyword in cake php content okay so if i reload this page as we know that as i told that search parameter matches with our post title as well as post content so basically our development keyword matches with our post title here and also if i scroll development keyword matches with our post title here and also development keyword matches with our content that we have written inside wp post content so basically guys these are the things actually related with our post type equal to post so if i just change it to page let's say page save this file go to browser back to our pages section sorry it's pages section so inside this pages section guys we have only three pages in publish status so we have called sample privacy policy and OWT post so if I write something development keyword inside the pages section it means that it will find all the pages of keyword matching called development so if I back to browser just back to our custom template reload this page as we have no post related with our development keyword as we know that what we expect is that something our pages section does not contain any values relating with our development page so if I go to our OWT post and instead of OWT post if I create a new page something called let's say that WordPress development okay something development and also let's say this is sample page that we have created so if I save this page go to front-end section reload this section and now as we can see that we have no post so let me check that why basically does not contains the post or page that we have created something WordPress development and something we have saved as a keyword called development and just back to pages section this is WordPress development okay we have actually mismatched the spelling this is development so if I click on update reload our front-end page now as we have a page something called WordPress development it means that the keyword that we have provided this keyword matches with our post title sorry page title or page content so page content does not actually contains this keyword actually page title contains the development keyword okay so this is all about the pages concept it means that if we provide any keyword which is matches with our page title or page content it will give us the result set so if I suppose guys if I remove this post type here it means that if I provide any content here means any search term that it will matches with post as well as page section it means that post type matches here by page as well as with post means this keyword actually finds inside these six and sections called our page or post section okay so if I save this file go to browser reload this custom template and now all the sections as we have supplied basically relating with our post section as well as with our pages section this is our page that we have created as we know and this is the post that we have created so basically all the results set now contains all the results of our pages section as well as our post section so if we back to editor so inside this condition guys actually you can pass several conditions to filter your result this is all about the search parameter you have to write as as a key inside these conditions and you have to pass a search value here so that WP query filters all the result sets according to these conditions see so this is all about search parameter in WP query what we have discussed so far so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day